So this website is very helpful for SAR staff because you're able to log in as either the SAR student, the note taker, or an instructor who has a student using SAR services to be able to see what they would see if they were to log in. This is helpful if a student says, I'm not able to see my notes, or a note taker says, I can't see my class, so that we can kind of get an idea of what they are looking at. To log in, you have to, it's not the one login credentials, it is your clockwork credentials. And then you will click login as another user. And here you have your three choices. So we'll do one of each. So we'll log in as a student. And for the student, you'll type in the student ID number. Again, you use your clockwork credentials. And then here is as if the student was logged in. So this student has notes, so we would click student view course notes. And then here we have to click course notes again. Here we can look at what semester the student needs to look at their notes for. And so for this, for this semester, spring 2021, the student had notes in math, and biology. And so we can click on their notes and look at what notes were provided to the student. And so they download as a PDF and here we're able to see the notes the student received. We can also look at the download history. So we can see has the student been using these notes. Um, so here we can see that these notes were all downloaded on April 25th and these notes were all downloaded on April 11th and these notes on May 19th. Um, the other thing if we go back to the main menu is we can see like this TECA course um, there might be a note there that says um, not approved for this accommodation or something like that. Um, and so that would be where the SAR staff could see what was going on for that student. Okay, so now we're going to log in as a note taker. So for this example, we're going to use Gale. Again, your clockwork login information. So it says welcome note taker and it has some information. So we'll click course and notes. And then here again, we can look at what semester they're approved, they're taking notes for. Um, this is their confidentiality agreement that they sign. And then here's where they can go in and upload lecture notes for the classes they're assigned to. So here they can see the notes they've already submitted. They don't have the ability to, to, to delete notes. Um, that's reserved for SAR staff so that we can look in case a student has a complaint about something, we can go in and, and look at everything but they would click upload a lecture note. They would put in the lecture date and then the, they would go to browse to locate the file on their computer. And then they might put comments in about their notes and then they would click submit. Okay, now we can also log in as an instructor so we'll put in the instructor's email address. Here the instructor um, 
has documents that they can look at that might be helpful for them to know how to provide an accommodation to a student. Um, they can click on courses. And so they can go by course and look at what accommodation letters are available. Again, here's their semester. So we can go to Math 1314, click on accommodation letters. Um, the students, if there's multiple students, there would be a list. Here there's only one student, so we could click there and view letter. Okay, it says we're not able to download it because the course has ended. However, the, the usually it would come through and we'd be able to see the accommodation letter that's provided to students. This is really just an option so students can, so instructors always have access to letters. However, students are still responsible for providing their letter of accommodation to their instructors. And when they do that, that is when their accommodations begin. Okay, but that is all of the information from this web one website that SAR staff has access to, um, to be able to help troubleshoot for um, students, instructors, and note takers.